Hey guys, it's your girl Luscious Tony X. Uh, how are you guys doing today? So, if you have been following my following my journey for a little while, um, basically I am allergic or like very. I get highly irritated by talc um, powder, like any kind of face powder um, that goes like around your eyes and eyeshadow palettes that have talc in it. I've kind of figured out. That they just make my eyes burn and itch and I'm trying to start going a little more um, with the clean makeup as far as what I put around my eyes um, especially. So we're going to, I've already been through my powders. I did that off camera but I basically decluttered 95% of of all my face powders because every time I would use them to like conceal like you know powder uh, the concealer up under my eye and stuff it would just burn and so I let people go through my you know my family go through my powders and pick out what they wanted so basically I didn't film that but I decided you know I'm gonna film my palette declutter and I did let my family go through and pick out what they wanted so this is what's left of my eyeshadow palettes I used to have so much makeup you guys but I have really downsized a lot with my um, makeup just because I don't wear like I'm not trying to get the latest um, eyeshadow palette like I used to be because I realized that like number one I never used them it was a waste of money and number two I like I said the older I get the more I know what I can handle and what I can't and like I'm very sensitive to talc so yeah I have a couple of new palettes that are in the mix here that are talc free and I already know that I'm going to be keeping them I'm also probably going to keep eyeshadow palettes that have talc in it but I won't be using them. They'll be more of like a keepsake that I will just put up. Maybe, you know, when my kids give it, gave it to me for like Mother's Day or my birthday or Christmas or something. And, or maybe that palette has a special memory. And I'm just going to keep it. I'm not going to use it on my eyes, obviously. But I will be keeping it for a sentimental purpose. Um, and then some, maybe I don't know. If it's talc free and I'll have to, you know, look that up in or maybe try it out and see how my eyes kind of react to it. But yeah, basically that's what we're doing today. We're going to declutter, I want to say 95%. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to keep a very small percentage of my um, eyeshadow palettes. Even though it really hurts me to get rid of these really gorgeous ones that I really love so much. But I just know that wearing them, I'm just going to be, my eyes are going to hurt. And I mean, it's fun to wear makeup, but it's not fun to wear makeup that, you know, hurts your eyes. So some of these are like brand new palettes or fairly new palettes. And I might sell them. The rest of them I will probably just give away. But, so let's just kind of go through, I guess. Um, now, <laughs> probably the, the most I'm like most upset about, you guys. I collect, um, let's see if I can show you right here. I've been collecting Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes for a long time. And I have, um, these are the larger ones. These are the newer ones that I have. Um, these are the face palettes I have. I have another of her old face palettes up here. And then I have on this side, I have all her minis over here. Now, like I said, so I've been collecting Natasha Denona palettes and they're not cheap, right? So it really hurts me to have to get rid of these things because number one, they're pricey eyeshadow palettes that I spent my hard-earned money on. But I just, I just don't want to go through, like, having to try them out and, like, okay, well, this is going to irritate my eyes or whatever. And I just, I just, I'm tired of that feeling. Like, I want to put on an eyeshadow and not have to worry about it irritating my eyes. And same with, you guys know, I love me some Patrick Ta. And that Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette is so gorgeous. It is so pretty. There's so many eyeshadow palettes that I love, but... 
my eyes don't love. So, also, I have a stack of um, Urban Decay. You guys know I've been wearing Urban Decay for years. So, that's kind of my dilemma. I'll just kind of let you guys kind of go through. I have a bunch of them over here. But these, a lot of these are face palettes. And I already know, like, some of these, like I said, um, I'm going to keep because they were gifts. And I'm just going to put them up. But most of these will have to go um because i'll have no use for um these eyeshadow palettes in my life anymore so yeah that's about the size of it so um let's just kind of go through and start i guess is what we're going to do so basically i don't even know how many i have to be honest with you i, I just don't feel like counting them I don't think I'm gonna do that, but I will count them like when I get through with decluttering them, how many I've decluttered and how many I'm keeping. If you're new to my channel, hello. I'm sorry you can't see my face, but I am Lashes Tony XO and I do beauty, I do fashion, I do book reviews, a little bit of everything. So if you're into fashion, beauty, and books, Make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Alright, so let's just kind of dive into it. Like I said, I've been kind of researching uh, what palettes have talc, what palettes don't have talc. Um, so, I'm draining this, obviously. You guys can tell I'm kind of draining this. But, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. There's nothing else. There's nothing else I can do. I'm, I just got to do this. I got to rip this band-aid off and it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt really bad, okay? But we're doing it. Alright, so let's let's just dive on in. Alright, so this is e.l.f. You guys remember, I'll link the video I did on this palette. It's been years, but I did a video on the um, Chipotle and e.l.f. Col collab. And I really enjoyed this palette a lot. Um, I have a lot of these palettes that I did reviews on. I'll try to link the ones... I can find but they're pretty old as far as um videos because I don't think I've done an eyeshadow palette review in a long time um if I have like I said I'll try to link as many as possible but um I just thought this was really cute because first of all I don't know if you know this about me but Chipotle is my favorite fast food place so like it's like as far as tonight my husband's like what do you want for dinner we're not cooking um, we just came back from vacation. He was like, so what do you want me to pick up? And I'm like, Chipotle. Chipotle. Because I love Chipotle. So, this is supposed to be, obviously, like, guacamole and lettuce. And, like, all the all the different colors of a Chipotle bowl or a Chipotle burrito or whatever you like to eat. I like, I like from the bowls and I also like the Chipotle salads. They're, like, my, my two go-tos. But, this has talc in it, unfortunately. Um... So, we're going to get rid of this palette, number one. And I'm just going to throw it to the side over here. Um, and then, this is not another e.l.f. palette. This is the e.l.f. Electric Mod palette. Now, I did a review on this. Um, and I compared it to one of the Tooth, Too Faced palettes that I gave away to my sister. I don't have it with me. But, I think it's the Too Faced Pumpkin Pie palette. And that um, video did actually really, really well. So, I will link that one down below. It's, it's an older video, but it got a lot of reviews. Um, a lot of views. Sorry, not reviews, but it got a lot of views. And basically, I compared each of these um, colors to that palette. So, if you want to check it out, I'll link that as well. But these have talc. So, I'm getting rid of these. Um... I don't even have to look this up because I know that Makeup Forever, these are the very old palettes. Um, and I know they have talc in them. So, I don't even have to like, some of these I already know. Like, I don't even have to think twice. Like, this one I made back in the day when I first started my YouTube channel. Gosh, it's been what? I started my YouTube channel in 20, 2015. So, that's when I made this palette in like 2015. You could go into Sephora and you could do like a two, I think it was like a two pan or I just stuck my finger in that or a three pan and pick out like what singles you wanted and like, um, 
I can't remember who she was, but I remember there was a girl I was watching and she was always talking about these shadows. So I made myself a little palette. And yeah, this was one of my first ever like high-end eyeshadow palettes that I actually made. Um, but I am going to get rid of it though. I am going to get rid of it. So like I said, this video is going to probably blow your mind because I'm honestly getting rid of most of my eyeshadow palettes. And it's sad. It really is. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. This one is the Make It Forever. Which one is this? This one is the, um, the number one, if you can see right there. Make It Forever always numbered their makeup back in the day. I don't know if they still do that or not, but, so these are the makeup, um, artist eyeshadow palettes. I got a number one, which is more, um, of the cool tone eyeshadow, really pretty cool tone eyeshadows. Um, great for a smoky eye, but not really good for someone, um, for one, this palette is very, very old. It is, like I said, I've had this since, like, 2015. And number two, I would say it's definitely has talc in it, and it's gonna, like, irritate my eyes. This is the Makeup Forever second palette, um, the Artist Shadows palette, and this one is... All the fun colors. Um, back in 2015, 2016, I want to say people loved the the colorful shadows were really popular. And, of course, I had to jump on that bandwagon and do some fun colors. Obviously, this one I used a lot. If you can tell, this one as well. Um, but I will be getting rid of this one as well. Um, okay, so what else? Alright, so we have a stack here of some Maybelline. Here's some more Maybelline. How many Maybelline palettes do I have? Maybelline, Maybelline, Maybelline. Okay, so here's some Maybelline uh, drugstore eyeshadow palettes and face palettes. Some of the face palettes I don't think I'm going to get rid of. I think will be fine, but um, most of... I think all of their powder products have talc in it. I'm looking on this one. Yeah, I see talc. This is a really nice palette, though. I remember loving this for being a drugstore. It's the Maybelline The City Mini Palette. And this was in Rooftop. And if you're like, if you love like neutral colors, smoky brown or whatever look, which I do. Um, these are just really nice. They're really buttery, really smooth, and I love the colors of this. I like this shade, these two shades right here that you can really darken up your look, and then you have these little shimmers. Really pretty palette. Um, I'm sad that it has talc in it, because I would definitely keep it otherwise. Definitely keep it. Um, okay, this is a blush palette. Um, I'm gonna have keep this right now just because we're going to do blushes and all that kind of stuff in a totally different declutter. I'm just going to put this with my other blushes. Um, but this does have talc in it. Um, you know what? I just talked myself out of it. <laughs> okay. We're going to declutter this. Why am I keeping this when I know it has talc in it? I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to get rid of every single product that has talc in it. But most of my blushes these days are cream. And so I don't really use a lot of powder, honestly. So I'm not going to keep this. I've had this forever and I doubt I will use it. This is the Maybelline Master Blush. Um, does it say Face Studio? And yeah, it has a highlight. And then it has the three um, blushes. So... We're just going to get rid of her. We're just going to get rid of her. Why keep it? Why keep it? Um, okay. Same as this. This is a Maybelline Master Contour Palette. It's got the contour, the blush, and the highlight. And I have cream products that I love that I don't even wear, you know, most of the time. I don't even wear powder products. So, we're going to get rid of this palette as well because it does have talc in it. I already know. We're not even going to worry about it. 
This is another Maybelline. I remember when this was really popular. It kind of went viral for like a split second. It's the Maybelline Lemonade Craze. I think maybe Babs Beauty might have did a video on this back in the day. Uh, maybe 2016 maybe. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. But um, yeah, this is really pretty colors. It's supposed to look like pink lemonade. Just regular lemonade it's supposed to be like fun summery colors you have your shimmers and it, it was fun but honestly i did not use that palette hardly at all this one i used i thought was a really nice neutral palette it's called nudes of new york by maybelline gray palette this does have talc so decluttering this one you guys i hope you guys are proud of me because i'm legit like this is gonna be cutthroat Complete cutthroat palette declutter. I'm not even joking with you. All right, so I'm trying to reach. Oh, here's a bunch of drugstore crap that I already know has stuff that's bad for my eyes. A bunch of drugstore stuff right here. We're just gonna go through these real quick because I know I'm getting rid of these. This is the LA Girl Get Feverish eyeshadow palette. Um, this used to be one of my favorite drugstore palettes because if you remember back in the day, I used to love doing kind of like a um a warm tone kind of like warm tone looks and this palette again babs beauty did a look with this eyeshadow palette and i had to have it it looked she made it look so pretty so easy so that's why i picked this up and yeah i did use it a few times but wasn't something i used often but i really do love these colors on on my eyes because i have blue eyes but it does have talc in it. We're getting rid of this one. Milani. I have a couple of Milani palettes I will be getting rid of. Um, so this one. What, what is this one called? This is. It's the Gilded Jade palette. You can see right there. And yeah. It does have talc in it. Now a lot of these are like. Um, if you're just worried about like cruelty free, like a lot of these are cru cruelty free eyeshadow palettes that I own, but for me, it's more about the irritation of the talc. Um, and then like mica stuff like that's not good for you. So like, I'm just more worried about like it really irritating my eyes. So I know this has talc in it. We're getting rid of this one as well. Like I said, I have a lot of drugstore. Okay. So we have Wet n Wild. Oh my gosh. I remember when these first came out. These are the, what are they called? The Wet n Wild um, Limited Edition. But this one, this particular eyeshadow palette is called Bed of Roses. So, um, but I remember when Wet, Wet n Wild came out with a rose collection. I think that's what it was called. Everything was rose. So, this one... Again, it's not the best as far as um, blendable eyeshadows, so I'm not, and they're cheap, so I'm not really worried that, you know, that, I'm not really that sad about it, even though it is limited edition. This one's House of Thorns. Okay, my leg is falling asleep. Uh, these are really, like, deep colors. You can see the little roses. It's cute, but, you know, I'm not going to cry over that. We have the Nude Palette by LA Colors. Very affordable palette, um, but has talc in it, and I am not gonna keep a palette with talc in it because it's just gonna irritate my eyes. So, again, be getting rid of this one. I told you I'm really doing a deep, deep declutter, and it's gonna be cutthroat. Um, it may be cringeable, whatever, but. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. And like I said, I already decluttered my powders, which I should have filmed it. But it was kind of like an impulse thing. I had people over and I was like, uh, I can't wear a towel. Just get whatever you want. So they were like, okay, sure. This is the LA Colors Shimmer Palette. Um, a sub wonderful subscriber sent me um, a bunch of LA Color products. And if she's watching, I do appreciate them. I just cannot cannot use them on my eyes so i am gonna get rid of these as well and really pretty like jewel tone colors 
Um, but maybe they can find a better home. I have a sister. I have a niece. I have um, my son's girlfriend. I have a lot of people that may want these. And then, like, the really expensive uh, eyeshadow palettes, like I said, I can sell. This one is NYX um, Away We Glow. Really pretty colors. Again, I believe a subscriber sent this to me. But it has talc in it as well. And I'm going to show you the colors if I can open it. Really pretty. Really good pile going here. Um, Alright, so this is a new palette that I recently bought. Because I understood that it was talc free. I looked up talc free eyeshadow palettes. And this Milani, what? Milani Gilded Mini came up as a talc-free eyeshadow palette. But then, I look on the back of the ingredients. First, first ingredient, talc. What the F? What the F, Milani? Why are you lying to me? So, this is talc in it. I'm going to get rid of it, even though I just bought it. Luckily, it's Milani, so it's cheap. But we're getting rid of, rid of that just for spite because Milani lied. So, whatever. Alright, so this is the uh, Profusion Wonderlust palette. I'm getting rid of this one as well. Again, talc is one of the first ingredients. So, I'm getting rid, rid of it. I used to love the really pretty browns and greens in this color palette. Um, but... Um, there, there are better palettes out there that give you just as much color payoff that are, um, affordable and they're talc free and they're just better for your eyes. So I'm excited. I do have some new ones. Like I said, they're in the mix. I don't know if you can see them or not, but we're getting rid of, no, we're keeping the talc free ones that I recently purchased, but we're going to get rid of 90% of my eyeshadow palettes. Alright, so these are Makeup Revolution palettes. I actually picked these up during, it was like a Hall Halloween special. They did these really cute um, covers, I guess. Kind of like book covers, but this one says The Dead Are Alive. And it's like a, a graveyard. It looks really spooky. Um, it comes with 16 eyeshadows, 13 shimmers, and 3 mattes. Um, again, Makeup Revolution. And it does have talc in it. So, we're getting rid of this palette. I did keep it in the box just because I'm a huge Halloween fan. And so, I loved the... Um, I just love the way it looked. Um, as far as keeping it, though... I don't feel like I need to keep it anymore. So, I'm getting rid of it. Also, like I said, this tour anyway. But, Makeup Revolution. And this one's Give Them Darkness. And it's like, I felt like the woods, the forest. And then you see these glowing eyes. Look like a, maybe a werewolf. Um, again, 10 shimmers, 6 mattes, 16 eyeshadows. Um, uh, so showed you the back. That's the um, give them darkness colors. So all these are more like deep, um, deep blues. I would say. And then you have that like pop right there. Um, and then on this palette, I would say they're more cool tone muted colors. So yeah, I'm getting rid of these as well because like I said, they have talc in them. Um, all right, so Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty is cruelty free, but the these two eyeshadow palettes, especially, um, I'm not sure if her new ones might be talc free, but these have talc in them. I looked up the ingredients list, and talc is definitely in there. So we are getting rid of these eyeshadow palettes. This one is what is this one called? Um, this one's called Confident Energy. Show you what it looks like. The packaging of these are really, really, really pretty. And these are all glitters. So, I was like on a glitter kick. So, this is, again, it's cruelty free and everything. But it does have talc in it. Rare Beauty. And I think her new one, like her new eyeshadow palette might be talc free. But don't quote me on that. 
So I'm going to get rid of this one. And then this one is called, what is it called? It is called Magnetic Spirits. Um, let's see if I can open it. So this one is really pretty. If you like purple tones, they're really pretty colors. Um, yeah. So this one, beautiful. I think I have a friend that I think would really, really enjoy this these purples so i might uh see if she wants these um uh, i mean not these but this one um yeah so we're decluttering that all right so we have juvia's place um this one is the tribe by juvia's and i did a eyeshadow look one of my probably one of my favorite tutorials i ever done using this palette and it was just such a gorgeous eye look that I did. And I just love how big the pans are in this. And I'll show. I'll show. Also the shades. Um, I remember the greens. I did like a look with the greens. And I just really, really love the look that I, that I did. So um, if I can find it, like I said, I will link it down below if you want to check it out. But the Juvia's Place does have talc in their uh palettes so um there might be some newer ones um like i said a lot of like newer brands are coming out with talc free but this is gonna be decluttered because it has talc in it um now okay this one right here is called the coffee shop number one you guys know i love my coffee and these colors right here are my favorite like everyday everyday looks everyday i shot it it does have talc in it though it's so pretty i really honestly do not want to get rid of this palette like this is the one that i'm like it's hurting it's really hurting to declutter this because i think i've only used this palette maybe twice and i think these colors are absolutely gorgeous there's cool tones there's warm tones there's shimmers um I love everything about this palette. The name is called the Coffee Shop. The shimmers, everything is so pretty. But it has talc in it, you guys. It has talc in it. Like, why? 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 Um, so, yeah. I'm going to declutter it. I was, like, fighting myself on this because I wanted to keep it because it is new. It is a newer one, I guess I should say, not new, because I haven't bought anything with talc in it lately. But, except for that Milani that I thought was talc-free, and it wasn't. But, I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Again, those, those colors, though, they're everything to me. Alright, let's go right here. This right here is such an old little palette from Benefit. It says groovy kind of love. Harrison bought me this with, it's like way back, I think when I first started my YouTube channel back in 2015, my son Harrison, he is now, um, he just had a birthday, so he's 23, and he bought me this when he was younger, and he like saved his money and everything, and I think it was Mother's Day, it might have been my birthday or Mother's Day, and he spent his allowance or his money or whatever to buy me this benefit palette you know how much benefit cost back in the day and i thought it was just so sweet and i don't think i would get rid of this um i'm not going to use the, the the products in here the only thing left is the blush which does have talc and the shadows which does has to have talc and i'm not going to use those but if i wanted to i could just take um this whole thing pops out and I could use this um, to travel if I want to put some stuff in it like jewelry or whatever I want to put in it is a case that I can just keep so definitely gonna keep this one just because it has a lot of sentimental value to it and yeah I'm just gonna put I'm gonna pop the um, the palette back in here but just know this one is so far we're keeping one and we have a stack full of stuff we're not keeping 
So I'm going to put that on the side and we're going to keep track of everything in a minute. Um, okay, so next. All right, so this is Pat McGrath. This is, um, I don't know if y'all remember when she had that light. She had two of these of different shades. Um, but these palettes are so teeny tiny. Um, this one's called the, um, what is it called? The Sublime Palette. And it just has really fun shimmers in this. Really fun shimmers, but this does have talc in it. All Pat McGrath shadows have talc in it, unfortunately. Which brings me to this. Um, I recent now this is a re recent purchase. Ordered this palette because I did, like I said, I did a video on it and I wanted to get this palette because at, at the time I didn't really realize how allergic I was to the talc. And I was like, oh, I won't bother me that bad. But I've only used this for the video. Um, you can see it still has the um, still has the paper, the plastic on it. I mean, you can tell it's a brand new palette. Like I said, I just bought it. So, I'm probably going to sell this one because, like, why not get my money back, get my money back um, when I know I can't use something that was this expensive. Um, the colors are gorgeous, and I really, really want to keep this palette. Like, you just don't even know. But I am going to declutter it, but in a way... I'm not going to put it in the declutter pile. I'm going to put it in the sell pile. Just because this is one, like I said, that is one of my newer palettes that I know I could get. Um, it's still in the packaging and I know I could get a pretty penny for it. So we're going to put this in a different pile. But just know that I will be selling that. Not giving it away. Um... Okay, so we have a bunch of Huda Beauty, and I was really confused when I looked up Huda Beauty. Um, I thought that she was talc-free, but she's not talc-free. At least not any of these palettes that I own. Um, she might have a newer palette that might be talc-free, but these all have talc in it. This one is the Warm Brown Obsessions, and... Again, I've had this one for a long time, probably since 2015, 2016. Um, gonna declutter this one. This one is the Nudes Medium. And again, these are really, really gorgeous colors. I mean, they're just beautiful, but they have talc in it. So that's not gonna do me any good, is it? So we're decluttering this one as well. This one is the Nudes uh, Rich palette. The Nude Rich palette. Again, these are darker. They made them, I don't know if you remember, they made light, medium. Was it medium? Let's see. Yeah, they had light, medium, and rich. And they were basically for different skin tones. Um, but really, it didn't matter. So, this one is in rich. And I love these colors. Also, these are more, I feel like have a plummy color to the to the scheme so again i have a friend who has green eyes and she loves uh plummy colors so i might um declutter this and send this to her as well so uh yeah and this one is the huda wild um jaguar palette and this has very fun colors in it look at those colors <sighs> so pretty oh my gosh they're so pretty too bad i can't wear them um gonna declutter again this has that purple in it um that my friend might enjoy because she has green eyes and it has some purples in it so maybe send that one i might send her all the purple ones that i have and be like here i don't need these you can have these um and this is like og huda beauty um obviously by the packaging you can tell um, but I feel like this is kind of, basically, if you look at it, I did not use any of the mattes. I only used the glitters. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to declutter this one as well. 
All right, so, so far we have one keep and the rest are declutters, you guys. This is so sad. This is a very sad video for me. Okay, um, I don't even want to do that right now. That's gonna, like, hurt my soul. So, this one's the, um, Celestial Storm Palette. You guys remember when this was a thing? Um, so this has talc in it. I'm gonna declutter this. declutter okay again i have another um um why can't i think of her name this is the rustic glam by dominique um rustic glam and i loved this <laughs> i love this palette i loved this color right here wonderlust and bohemian those were like some of my favorite um colors to kind of put on the lid they're just fun really fun 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 shades but again talc talc is my enemy um we have the morphe jeffree star palette um and again we have all these all these fun colors a lot of purples in this um I'm trying to remember. I think one of my kids gave me this palette, but I am going to declutter it. Um, like I said, the the benefit one just really hits home because it's one of the first things um, my son Harrison ever bought me, and it just has a lot of sentimental value to it. So I'm going to keep that one. But um, this is the Carly um, Bible palette, the Deluxe Edition, the BH Cosmetics. You guys remember this thing it has all the um the face palettes and the eyeshadow palettes um can i declutter this as well and okay so i have a couple of morphe palettes uh, morphe does have talc so this one is what number 35v i remember the day i bought this actually 35 35V, um, and I got it because I wanted to do a lot of fall, a lot of fall looks, like, it's a very warm tone, very warm tone, so, um, I'm gonna declutter this as well, and of course, back in the day, they had these little paper things with the names on them, so I'm just gonna put this back in there, and... Her. Okay, we have the Jessica. The Jessica. What the? <laughs> Why am I saying Jessica? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Jacqueline Hill Ballot by Morphe. Um, I don't know why I was thinking of Jessica Simpson, but apparently I was. Um, all the shadows here. I am definitely getting rid of this. I don't need it. This right here, I think some of the box ones uh, I am going to keep because they were collect kind of like collectibles. This one is the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. So basically you could pull this out and you have your shadows here. Um, and then you open it up. And you have a mirror. And then you pull these out. And there's like a really pretty butterfly situation. Um, I don't know. It's a really, really pretty packaging. So, I'm, I'm like thinking, should I keep it? Do I want to keep this? Or do I want to get rid of it? Um, I know someone that would appreciate this, actually. Um... I don't know, it's cute, but do I need it? I don't need it. Um, I might give this to someone that I'm thinking of. Um, okay, so I am running out of battery and I still have a shit ton of palettes to go through. Alright, so, so far we are keeping one palette that I'm not even going to be using. It's a collectible. And then we have two that I'm going to be selling. So, basically, I have a zero that I'll be using. 
at the moment. Don't worry, there are some in here that I will be keeping, but like I said, it's going to be like 95% cutthroat declutter and 5% of keeping. Let's go ahead and, and change the mood a little bit, okay? So, this is the Urban Decay Wild Greens palette. Now, I did some research on this palette. I couldn't find that it said it had talc in it. Um, and I did look it up in several different places, and I couldn't find that it said it had talc in it. Now, let me know in the comments if it has talc in it, and I'll declutter this. But as of now, I will be keeping this one. Um, again, this is the Urban Decay Wild Greens palette. And this, this does have the box. I did keep the box in this one. The palette's really cute. It kind of opens up like the eye kind of opens up and there's some fun uh, like a really nice um shade that i could use to like deepen the outer v also like to use these colors to line for like you know eyeliner and stuff like that i like to use a, a powder eyeliner um and then you have um some other shades that you could use for um just blending or lid shades and then there's some fun um some really fun like glitters like glittery lid shades so as of now i'm keeping this palette if things change i will definitely do an update or if you guys let me know that hey that does have talc in it then i will definitely um i'll probably sell it just because it is in the packaging um but as of now, this is going in the keep pile. So we have a few keeps and we have a crap ton of declutter. Look over here, I'm gonna show you. I'm swinging around. These are all the palettes that I'm getting rid of so far. A lot. Okay, so I'm swinging you back around. Um, this right here is from Too Faced. It's the peanut butter honey palette. You guys remember when I went gaga for this? I am decluttering this one, but it is kind of an old, um, it's an older palette that I did a video on way back in the day, um, but I used to love this. I used to love anything with a pop of yellow. That was just my thing, so, um, yeah, I used to love this palette a lot. Don't wear it anymore, so we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of that as well. These right here are another it's another palette that really hurts me it's kind of like the juvia's um palette the coffee shop this is the Too faced born this way neutrals nude and i love this palette so damn much you guys it hurts it hurts to get rid of this it is such a beautiful palette it's just me like this is something i would create for myself maybe a few more deeper tones or warmer tones but like i love the shimmers i love the um mattes i just love everything about this palette but it does have talc in it so we're gonna be saying goodbye to her and i'm sad i'm really really sad about that so yeah boohoo for me we have some color pop that i'm getting rid of so this is high tide it has ta um talc in it if i can speak these are really pretty oceany colors um my mother might like this palette she likes fun colors like this so, um, I don't even think this was ever used, to be honest. So, I'm going to declare that palette. And this one is a pretty old one. It's the Element of Surprise by ColourPop. Um, just a lot of fun colors, but we're decluttering this as well. This one is the Hocus Pocus. Um, de uh, I was going to say, this is the Hocus Pocus declutter palette. No. This is the ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette that I will be decluttering. Yes, learn to speak. Looks like that. Really fun fall colors. We're getting rid of her. I'm trying not to be too sentimental about stuff. You know, it's just makeup. Um, these are the storybook ones. This is the Fairy Tale Storybook Cosmetics. This does have talc in it. I'm getting rid of it. I don't wear these colors anyway, so we're getting rid of that. Okay. You guys know how much I love Mean Girls. So, I will be keeping this for um, 
just memory purposes only because I think it's really cute just to kind of lay somewhere like it's the burn book you know what I mean like I will not use the eyeshadows but I will be keeping the burn book palette it is so cute I love this palette so much okay so we're keeping this but we're not going to use it we're just keeping it for the fact that I can um, okay, this was a gift from my husband. Uh, this is Tales as Old as Time, Beauty and the Beast collab, uh, Lorac, Lorac, yeah. And I think I gave a palette away as well. I did like a giveaway back in the day. Um, so this has talc in it. So I'm not sure if I want to keep it or give it away. I think I'm going to give this so, you know what? I think I could sell this, maybe. I'm going to declutter it, but I might, if I can get money from, for it, I will, but I'm going to declutter this, okay? We're just going to declutter because I just know, like, I just know, I just need to declutter it. Okay. So we have keep and declutter. All right, so now we have tarts over here. Tart toasted palette. I used to be obsessed with this thing because it was so warm and I used to love warm tones. I still do. I love me a good warm tone. These are gorgeous but they have talc in it so I am going to declutter this. It still smells delicious though. It makes me sad. Okay. This was a collab with a YouTuber, Aspen. Um, this is Tarte. This is more of a it's an eyeshadow but also has like highlight and blush. It's very neutral, but I never really worn it anyway, but this does have talc in it, so I'm going to get rid of this. Um, this one is really pretty. It's the Tartlet. The Tartlet what? I don't know. It's just this Tartlet on here. By Tarte. The Tartlet by Tarte. But really beautiful uh, colors. I would definitely wear, but this also has talc in it. So, I'm going to declutter this one as well. And this makes me very sad. Makes me very sad. Okay, so, I'm, de I'm, you guys know, I'm like, don't want to do that. But, we're going to have to do it. Pat McGrath. Okay, this is a newer one. But, again, it has talc in it. I have never even used this palette. And, look at the glitters in this thing. Oh my gosh, if I could show you a little bit better. But look at the glitter in this palette ah she's beautiful but she has talc so we're going to sell her or declutter her or something like that so yeah i'm just gonna put it over here it makes me really sad all right let's do some happy stuff i picked up two of these by pacifica this is the pacifica coco nudes this is talc free thank you jesus this is talc free um, I haven't opened these, but these are what the colors look like. Just very, like, browns, neutrals, everyday looks. Again, Coco Nudes by Pacifica, and it is talc-free. It's one of my newer palettes. We are keeping her. I can't wait to use that. I also got the pink one. This is Pink Nudes by Pacifica, and this is also talc-free. I like that it has pinks, but it also has some deeper shades in here, so I can you know warm up the look a little bit do cool tone but also make it kind of smoky so i'm excited to play around with that um okay we have natasha denona now the this one right here is the natasha denona face palette you guys remember when that was a thing so you have the nudes the nudes what you have the eyeshadows, and then you open it, and you have the blush and the highlight. Really pretty. Um, this is, what is this called? This is called the Natasha Denona Glam Face Light Palette. And this one is the Natasha Denona Glam Face. What is it? Is it dark? These are the N Natasha Denona Face Palettes in Light and dark. Natasha Denona, all her palettes have talc in it except for her newest one, the Nudes palette, which is the only one I do not own. Um, that is the only one that is talc free. 
these have talc in them so I'm gonna get rid of all these palettes uh, but I will um, if you guys want to purchase them for me let me know I will be selling all my Natasha Denona's because I know a lot of people like Natasha Denona um, I'm gonna be decluttering my Tasha Denona Glam palette again they have talc in it um I'm going to declutter her, even though th this is making me very sad. This was like, I didn't want to go through Natasha Denona because I knew I was going to be sad. So, this is a bronze palette, but I, like I said, I will sell these. Um, I don't have the boxes that came in, so obviously they'll be discounted. Um, and they have been, most of these have been uh, very well loved. There's a few that hasn't been very well loved, but... This is the Sun Ross palette, one of my oldest ones, but really haven't really, didn't really use it a whole lot. Um, I like the yellows in there, but we're not getting, we're, I mean, we're getting rid of her. This one is Sculpt and Glow, and I think Tiffany Dawn sent me this. Um, and I don't have a problem with, um, like, are these creams? Because I can use creams. Yeah, these are creams. Um. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. This is creams, so we're going to hold off on that bad boy. Um, I think this might be creams as well. This is Urban Decay Vice. I think this is a lipstick thing. Um, yeah, these are lipsticks. I'll put this to the side for now. We're just doing palettes. This is the um, Gwen Stefani slash Urban Decay um, collab they did. Um, this has talc in it. I'm getting rid of it. Plus, it's old. And these are all my other Urban Decay. Um, I think my sister went ahead and went through my Urban Decays and got a few. And she went through my Too Faced palettes and um, got some of those. So, if you see some, or if you see some missing, that's why. So, this is the uh, Naked 2 Urban Decay palette. Um, very, like, taupey cool tones gonna declutter her this one i have a bunch of videos using this this is the naked heat the naked urban decay heat palette i used to love this thing uh we're gonna declutter her and we are decluttering the urban decay wild west palette as well and this is, i just thought these were really fun colors that's why i picked it up but I don't use it that much anyway. But these are, again, all have talc in it. So, not good for my eyes. Um, this is the Reloaded Naked Urban Decay Palette. Really nice. Um, everyday fun colors. But, again, I'm decluttering it. Again, I'm decluttering the Naked Urban Decay Ultra Violet Palette. And I'm going to give this to a friend because she has green eyes and she loves purples. Um, she might already have this palette because, like I said, she does love purple. But I am going to send her as many purple eyeshadows as I can. So this will be going to a friend. Um, and then, like I said, I'll try to sell some. Uh, this is a mini um, Urban Decay Naked palette, the Half Baked palette. These are really beautiful colors, um, but they do have talc in it. So I'm decluttering that as well. Like I told you guys, it's cutthroat. All right, this one, whew, we got a keeper. This is by Lawless, not Flawless, but Lawless. Um, and this one is the little one. They also have a big palette. It's called the big one. I love, love these colors for every day. They do not burn my eyes. They do not irritate my eyes. This is a great little mini palette for travel. And I am keeping this one. Like I said, I might pick up the large one, the big one, they call it, as well. Um, if you go on Sephora's website, they do have a list of all their talc-free eyeshadows and all their talc-free powders. So, that's what I've been going by. And so, I'm keeping this one really excited because that's one of my favorites. Also, I'm keeping this as talc-free as well. This is by a brand I'm not real familiar with. Um, so it is, I don't know how to pronounce it really. It's Seraph, Seraphine Botanicals right there um but it is talc free it has some fun um oh sorry 
not even in the focus some fun uh shimmers so really pretty matte like deep mattes which is what i like and then like a pop of color on the lid and then also it has a blush uh two blushes so this is a great uh travel palette as well so we are keeping this because it is look tuck free yay we're keeping her excited so i do have some good palettes to use i thought novella was talc free but i looked it up it is not talc free it has talc in it so the side by side nude palette by nabla is going to be decluttered i do love this palette i have used it i think it's a beautiful um fun warm tone palette it's just i just love the colors oh my gosh this one right here is calling me oh. we're going to declutter the sigma ambiance palette it's gorgeous but it has to help because i'm decluttering it all right this is the catrice uh they were like the little dupes for the natasha denona mini palettes this is the five in a box mini eyeshadow um this one is soft rose first ingredients in this is talc i want to declutter it these are all my mini natasha denonas i have most of them let's go through them really quick we have the natasha denona mini was it exxon Ex exxon palette it's like a smoky eye palette we have the natasha denona mini what is it the baba baba i don't know how to pronounce it b i b a baba palette um really pretty warm tones we have the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette. We have the Natasha Denona Mini... What is this? This is the Mini... Um, Metro, Metropolitan something palette. Really beautiful colors. I love those golds. Really pretty. Um, this one is the... Zendo the mini zendo natasha denona palette this is the mini um nude natasha denona palette i shadow on the floor this is the mini glam mini glam palette and this one is the mini crush palette so i'll probably like sell these maybe in like a bundle Maybe I'll sell these in a bundle, but I'm going to get rid of these as well. We're decluttering those. And this one is uh, the Natasha Denona Coral Palette. The larger ones, you can see the differences. Um, I'm going to get rid of that as well. Declutter her. And now we're going to count all the ones we're decluttering and all the ones we're keeping. And I decided to go ahead and declutter the, um, the bomb palettes as well. So we're going to declutter these. Um, and I'm still not sure about this one, but I think I'm going to keep the Gemini palette just because it says Gemini, like I said, I won't use it. I'll just put it up, but let's count everything and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're getting rid of 84 palettes. That is counting the minis, everything, 84 palettes we're decluttering and we're keeping one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're keeping nine palettes and getting rid of 84. <laughs> I told you guys it was going to be cutthroat. I told you guys it was going to be hard. And I told you guys that I was going to be sad. But, you know, I got to do what I got to do. So if you're interested in anything, let me know in the comments. I will be selling some palettes. I will be giving my family and friends some palettes. But this was a hardcore deep clutter. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to declutter some more powder products like blushes and stuff like that if you guys are interested leave them in the comments if you like a cutthroat declutter like we just did give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe before you go let me know what you think of this declutter and i will talk to you guys next time bye